Okay, so this time we talk about how to draw stairs in actual view. So here's uh, my photo from Hong Kong. Uh, here we have this like basic case with the basic stairs and just like circumstances, little complex because there's a bunch of details, all the props. But uh, construction itself, it's uh, in general. So uh, here what we have, we have one vanishing point perspective. So here I make this line for vanishing point. Let me see. Vanishing point will be about here. So in this vanishing point, give us horizon line. So again, I can make this like a grid. So just to help me draw, I make this couple lines. And uh, here we have um, like it's like a three vanishing point situation. We doesn't have like this vanishing point above. It's uh, going outside of paper, but there is conversion of y axis, aka vertical lines. So I can establish this convergence. Let's say to this kind of level. That's why I also we have this like line. Which is goes through vanishing point. It's uh, just vertical, but then going the left and the right, we will have a convergence. We will have this tilt, and I just kind of eyeball in it. I make it freehand without uh, calculating much. And uh, for x axis, it's just straight horizontal lines with no convergence. It's no conversion and no curvature. Так. So then we have uh, this perspective and uh, now we need to make this uh, composition sketch. So let's see. And this kind of like very raw arrangement of general proportions, general uh, like let's say to figure out proportions and placement of uh, general objects. So here we have these stairs with multiple levels. Then we have this wall. Also talking about um, this kind of scenario here we have like a um, couple layers let's say of uh, environment so like in the front of us um, it's uh, these two walls so it's like kind of we have this kind of uh, narrow corridor here so this wall on the left wall on the right with the stairs and then we have um, like um, in the middle plan kind of here, this building on the left and this building on the right, which is going like outside of picture plan, but they're kind of uh, on the same middle plan. And then on a the third level, so this middle plan two buildings and also have some stair kind of staircase step and then third level it's a far plan it's like another building which stands like farther away so we have like closer to us in the middle distance and uh, in the back um, as a background you know Talk. so so here because this uh, to sync kind of with a photo reference which is different from a real life outdoors and outdoors is like more uh, flexible and uh, you can 
you have more freedom over your reference. Here I have uh, uh, this photo material which is uh, frozen, right? So everything here is already frozen. So um, to adjust to make it a little more maybe clear or interesting i will need to change kind of little change elements here so uh, and now i see how to make this part here more interesting so also we're back to this diagonal lines on the stairs can discuss so we have here this uh, diagonal lines right so let's find the vanishing point for these diagonal lines so this will be here so now i can direct all these diagonal lines to this vanishing point again and remind you this vanishing point is on a vertical line which is going from a vanishing point on the horizon line so here when i have these stairs farther here it will also follow this uh, vanishing point so let's say i want this one in the photo it's this second stair is higher than horizon line but i will make it lower to till here so i will have some this kind of uh, street which is again this a road is not visible uh, on a reference but I want it to be here so to make composition a little more interesting and uh, construction more clear so then here I will do this uh, stairs again if I have these two buildings on the middle plan so I will make diagonal line of stairs following this vanishing point and uh, of course uh, making same vanishing point for diagonal line on the stairs uh, because I want them all have same angle so uh, angle of stairs or this stairs this stairs and this stairs it's the same angle they don't have variety so but you need to keep in mind sometimes it might be different angle um, like hills for example might be go like little higher or maybe have more like flat angle okay so So here we have four step. So I can do like we did before. Here's this vertical line following this field angle of y axis, right? And then this vanishing point going here. So now I have this line, I divide on four and I drop these points on a diagonal line so now i have these points on a diagonal line so this give me like four bottoms for st step now i make this zigzag and i have four stairs then i just project it here let's make it a little clearer So this diagonal line and this I make this division four steps and now I project them on the right side. All the stuff I already discussed in the previous videos. Only we see now how it works. Okay. 
in this case. So remember y axis is not vertical, it's a little tilted lines. So we need to remember this perspective grid. You see? <coughs> so I draw these lines. They kind of remind me the direction, remind me angles. So here, when I draw from vanishing point, this z axis, right? Again, z axis and y axis. Z axis, y axis, z axis, y axis. Same here, y, 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 z, 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 z. And now here is X. And I will do it with ink. It's you don't need to draw all this with pencil. It's already clear what kind of situation we have. So then we can see here, see this uh, kind of trademark of uh, Hong Kong. It's this uh, patches on, on the ground. This kind of concrete patches, little remind um, spaceship. So then here, I don't want to follow exactly, you know, all elements from reference, but uh, let's again make this basic thing. So we have here a railings. So I just establish this railing here. And maybe make it here. So we have two railings. And uh, let's make also four step so i make this bottom points so it's like diagonal line and here bottom points so then i make zigzag like this and here will be top points again it's all should follow um uh, y axis direction which is little converged so and here is like closer to horizon line we have uh is less visible this um distinction between steps this like steps surface is present but is very um subtle very very narrow so and here i will just project it through this railing railing as i mentioned before it's just this kind of um like a like a ribbon And here, so we have these stairs. So what we can say about this stair? Steps here already higher than horizon line. So it means we cannot see this um, surface of each step because we're looking from below. So if we have this horizon line here and we drop, we draw these steps below horizon line we can see their surface but when stairs go in above horizon line let me put here so now stairs above horizon line so we cannot see it anymore right we cannot see anymore this surface of step because uh, it's kind of like yeah you can under you need to understand principle it's like it's still there so this kind of if we see it's transparent this will be surface 
of step and this one is surface of step but this only visible if we look at um, transparent stairs you know like a glass right so we not see um, surface like a top surface we see only front surface we see only front so that's why it will look just like this so we, it means we see only these points both points so here i kind of make this step now we have this above point and we make this diagonal line to vanishing point for tilted surface and then you just make this kind of pattern in this case again it's freehand drawing it's not like a project or for architecture or like any series engineering <laughs> it's just artwork and uh, for artwork uh no, our main value is uh, storytelling or uh, delivering like images emotions this kind of things right so in this case i will say making stairs especially this far away it's more like about abstract form so let's say what is abstract form of stairs it's this kind of rhythm you can break it you can make sometimes like a broken line you know you, you can make like little wobble it's kind of opportunity you have for making this kind of abstract quality and also of course it's this slight zigzag on the sides it's even if it's very subtle but it's still there you can use this as an opportunity to deliver some abstract uh, quality so you can make it straight you can make like little bubble you can make it like this like little round and you can make uh you can make it like this like uh zigzag edge of the stairs here no even not very important to follow like exactly like you can you know if like this stairs and then this kind of so line not very much follow uh, like this zigzag side line not exactly match to each step line so even this will works so my point again when we is, our goal is making image rather than construction with precise uh, structure uh, abstract quality is more important it's like prevail okay so we finish with stairs and okay now can have fun just draw a bunch of props so here we have this cooling systems also kind of typical motif in hong kong pipes and this air systems uh, i also have uh, other tutorials where i talking about perspective how to draw 
stuff in perspective. Like if you struggle with uh, essentials, you can watch these tutorials. So we have this pipe here. Here will little change, so make this pipe go like this. Again, the reference is just a suggestion for us. It's a source of uh, information, details, and uh, interesting composition solutions. But if something you don't like or don't understand, it's always um, your choice. You can you can change something. You can ignore something. So it's a go good kind of always good advice to avoid draw something you don't understand. Sorry, this kind of general rule. So, at least draw what you understand. Or maybe if you don't understand, but it looks cool. So it's good kind of for your drawing. It's good for your composition. Okay, then also draw it. But absolutely, there is no any obligation to draw something which you don't understand and you don't see any kind of benefit in uh, using it in your drawing but you feel you're obliged to draw this detail because it's there you know now this is kind of wrong approach so draw what is uh, good what is uh, give something to your work and you understand why you need this uh, what function this detail is uh, doing is happening in your work
to make this some <clears throat> just some proportion suggestion of people figures I'm not sure yet what kind of figure it will be but usually again as a like a sequence as a first step she just draws this oval instead of detailed pose just draw some oval to show general proportion general uh size of people and then you can uh, in the zone when you make inking you can draw all details so now i will make inking also these photos will be in uh, back so you can see in my gum road this photo references you can practice yourself practice and send me a result in my patreon If I will have time, I can give you some feedback. I no guarantee because time might change, maybe I will be very busy. But if I have time, I will definitely give you feedback in my Patreon. So you can see like uh, when uh, we follow this sequence it's really e easy and fun to draw on each stage so again the reminder in stage first stage um, perspective grid second stage composition sketch with very general construction number three stage is uh, make some refinements like uh, build uh, this uh, stairs in perspective put some props make sure everything aligned to perspective grid so making this like little twi tweaks and corrections and again you see it's pretty raw I, I leave a lot of space for me to doodle when i will make ink so eventually when i have ink stage uh, it's uh, laying over this all previous uh, preparations so now I have established like 80% of work and I need only sit and uh, uh, fill it with, with the details and put this kind of final look on it
So again, remind yourself about this tilted vertical lines. They're not right vertical, they're a little tilted. That's why we need perspective grid. So I make little broken wobble line. I don't want it to be like super straight. If I want super straight line, I, I definitely take ruler. It's no not uh, nothing shameful in using ruler. It's all just about artist preferences. What artist wants? What and what is his uh, goal? Like some drawings definitely need uh, pers ruler because you want to make them really really sharp you know you want this construction to be so sharp and edgy like without any wobbleness so use tools consciously on a purpose not do this only because you don't know other way you know try different ways and then you know when you need which tool So this is just like a, I say, which is making this ribbon. So one direction is going to Y axis and the other direction towards this uh, tilted vanishing point. So diagonal vanishing point.
some symbols here. So now I just connect to these two sides. Let's draw. So here is some kind of cafe in this building. I just make it as a uh, some extra detail. Then here we have this house. And here's this kind of sink on the wall. <coughs> more pipes here a little <clears throat> forget about this air conditioner it's okay
And finally, <clears throat> I do this stair here from far away. Some figure like a very walk. Maybe some figure here with the backpack. And a hand on a railing. So here I draw this little zigzag line on the stairs. Make it broken just again for. for design purpose so it makes this little broken so it feels like more flat it will feel like a little less heavy and uh, little dissolved in the background And this wall here. So I see this edge from this building go to this vanishing point. Actually. Yeah, go to this vanishing point on the horizon line. Same, this wall going like a Y tilted axis, and then this edge going to vanishing point on the horizon line. And then we have this building. And this one following Y axis. Y axis, little tilted. And Y axis. Y axis. And here this y axis going this way, y axis, and this two vanishing point horizon line. You see, vanishing point horizon. Okay, and here again, y axis, y axis is a building on a background in the farther flame. Here, y axis. This mm. one, we can make some more detail. Let's see here.
Just some extra details. 